Nice, nice. Uh huh. Some maki, the fish, fish, and can you? Oh wait, there is a little. And the sauce, oh, and uh, dimu, dimu. Ah, you're bringing it, dimu. Asante, asante. Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you. For watching the videos i hope you enjoyed the trip to chemka it was so much fun uh i was driving the the tuk tuk again and also we were um uh we were we went to a, a maasai village with an authentic experience where we didn't pay any tour we just went there and negotiated with them uh here as you remember uh, i stay at climbers it's uh, one of the best hostels i've been here several times like just across the street you have like uh ladies that are repairing the, your clothes if you go that 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 way there is the supermarket i showed you last time the bus station or the dala dala station but this today we're going uh the other direction up there you can go if you turn to the left there is always like till very very late at night uh ladies selling uh some some uh, fruits and vegetables they are also on the on the street down there uh if you go down to the to the left you will arrive to a cooperative bank or something where you can withdraw for free with no uh no fees otherwise the fees are like fifteen thousand but the last direction today we're gonna go to the right we're gonna pass through this small street where there used to be a lot of people cooking local food and there is a small market small art and craft market and after we will go to uhuru park so stay tuned and you will see some things you can do in moshe Mambo, how are you? <laughs> I wanted to show us this shop. Is Peter here? Where is he? He's there. He's there. It's my friend, Peter Rafiki. Yeah, yeah. And I know this this shop. I really like it because he is he's always giving good prices. He doesn't take advantage from the tourists. And there is everything like. Also the the arts, the paintings. He can. He, he told me he can even customize things. Like if you want to make like a customized like bag or something. Look at all the items. Like if you want to find and buy something, go and ask and talk to Peter. Um, he will give you. He will give you a good price. Like these bags you can customize. And he can all like if you want something you can just uh tell him look up up in the, in the... do you remember me remember what was your name ziggy, ziggy. yes ziggy <laughs> wait <laughs> uh, everything is good it's been like a year or something take take me take me a picture with ziggy <laughs> i also know him from from last time Ziggy and there was also Sam. Yeah. Where is Sam? I haven't seen Sam him. He went abroad. Yeah, oh, he's in France. Wow. Then he will be back. Yeah. Ah, okay. Nice. Uh, do you know where is Peter now? Like at the Union Cafe. Okay, I'm gonna surprise him there. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Asante. <laughs> Let's go to surprise Peter. <laughs> That's the owner of the of the shop. It's just he's just at the uh, uh, Union Cafe, which is just round the corner. Here in this bar, you can get some good food. And Union Cafe is just there, 
they have nice they have nice uh, juice you can get a fresh juice but we're not gonna get the juice here we're gonna get a juice a bit farther at the uh, Uhuru Park which is just going up and to the left so let's see <laughs> hi Peter how hi, are you <laughs> Asante Asante <laughs> It's my friend, like ah. uh, we are doing videos. <laughs> ah, no worries, no worries. Okay. How is everything? Everything's good. Uh, we were just going to through okay. your shop. Ah, thank you. Like we are doing videos about the show what oh, in Moshi. Nice, like nice. I was telling them, Things like you can buy the souvenirs there, ah, and like you. now we are going to the Uhuru Park ah, for nice food. Met my friend Peter. He is uh, very, very, uh, like very familiar with the area. So from the Union Cafe, we just passed the mosque. Uh, that side, there is a really cool roundabout. I will show you. On the other side, there is like a, like a war memorial. But now we go to this place. Like These are beautiful gardens. It's, it's called the Uhuru Park. Uh, Peter was just explaining me that he's doing uh, some posters for, like, uh, for people to know what's going on here. So that would be really cool because this, this park, I love it here. Uh, you can get a great juice here. Just uh, show them uh, just the building with the green roof. There, or actually with this uh, with this uh, thatched roof. There is a there is a little bar. Uh, they are building here something new. Uh, but we are gonna go through the park a bit, and then there is a nice place with like a nice. lot of stand. Tanzania has many parks. Like uh, normally in Africa, you don't see it that much. Uh, there is like a uh, for children playground and uh, it's it's really nice it, and it's always so quiet here so you can visit we still continue we pass and just where you see the little roofs then that's where we're gonna uh, have our lunch we are arriving here to the through the garden uh, to the place to get some food here are some stalls uh, and do you see all those boxes like each of each one of it is, is a restaurant. They have they are numbered. So if you come here and you try all of them and you find someone that's really good, then you can uh, remember it. And there is look, you see the, these women sitting there. I don't know why is it empty today. We are a bit late. But these women they are sitting from the other entrance. And then whenever you come, they start offering you food. So let's okay. I don't know if you can have a seat. Let's have a seat here. Unfortunately, we are too late. It's like three. In Africa, people usually eat like between 12 to 1 to Asante. Do you have food? Yes. What do you have? Brown rice. Brown rice? Yes, banana. Can I see? Can I see? I was last time, uh, where was it? I think number three. Number four. Okay, and you have fish, yes, samaki, fish, samaki, yes, samaki. ngapi, alfo saba na chakula, saba, no, 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 yes, we have food, if you want, I was, we have chips, or brown rice, or it's nice, can I see the rice, yes, the rice, yeah. but seven, I was buying it for five, no, yes. no, it's so no, 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 yes. rice, Okay, let me check the others. Asante. I remember it was much cheaper. I don't know if she's the same because I'm white. Okay, rice, banana, brown rice, uh huh. And with the meat. Uh -huh. How much? Gape. Three thousand and fish, samaki. And seven. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Mm. Yeah. And the chicken, chicken is fried. And this meat is three thousand. Yes. Nice, nice. Ah, uh -huh. samaki, the fish, fish, and can you? Oh wait, there is a little. Sauce oh. and uh, ndimu, ndimu. Ah, you're bringing it. Ndimu. Asante, asante. Okay, 
So let me start the juice. Mm -hmm. I wash? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Let me put the... Oh, okay. Avocado. <laughs> I love avocado. Na kupenda avocado. Yeah, Asante, asante. Is enough. Mm -hmm. So, let me start eating this amazing fish. The fish was 7,000. Uh, there is beef meat with rice and, and everything on top. 3,000. And they give you banana, they give you avocado. And the juice was like 1,5. Uh, let me taste it. Mm. And it's just amazing. It's even better than I remember it from, from before. You, you really need to try this. <laughs> and if you want some dessert, just across the street, there is a there is a ice cream place, but I've never never ate ice cream in Africa. Ah, she forgot avocado. <laughs> but there was a yeah, there was a place to get ice cream, but I've never it was always closed. I don't know why. So I was going a bit farther. There is a, a big supermarket after the roundabout, and there you can buy this Azam uh, ice. cream. Okay, let's taste it. You know what? That, that's what I discovered here for the first time. Like this is the tilapia from the Victoria Lake. And you can eat this one. And it's so crunchy and so delicious. Wow. Okay. Now let me just enjoy it, okay? <laughs> okay, let's do the avocado first. I love the avocados here. They only give you a spoon here. But luckily we washed our hands. <laughs> And let me try the the fish. Mm. The avocado is so amazing, but uh, so this is the whole fish. It's not that big, but it's really delicious. Uh, and let me just let's, I'll start eating it the African way, which <laughs> we just bite it like this. <laughs> I don't I don't really know how. <laughs> okay, mm. the meat the meat is just amazing. And you can even eat this, like, uh, this is what, there's so many flies, <laughs> there are some kids coming because people are throwing away the, the bones. And these things are really amazing, like, even the bones, they are so crunchy. Mm. Like, I love it. The meat, everything of it. Okay, finally we're here. Moshi is most famous for the Mount Kilimanjaro. The, world, the the Africa's biggest mountain and okay we're not on the real mountain but uh, there is a roundabout in Moshe and it shows there's a sculpture so come uh, let's have a look around you can from this side you see the Mawenzi peak the biggest peak is Kibo and then there is a Sh Sharia uh, peak the last one let's go let's have a look around if you want to climb the Kilimanjaro, you can book a tour. Uh, Peter, uh, you saw him earlier, he's making uh, tours, but I'm not sure if he uh, organizes also the, the tour to the, to the Kilimanjaro. Myself, I haven't done it yet because the price is around like 1,600 and you basically like go all the way up. It takes seven days. There are like arranged places where you sleep and um, like cottages and then you go back. Unfortunately, all those information is already old, so I cannot uh, read anything about it. But if you want to visit Kilimanjaro, uh, you can do it on a low budget, <laughs> or you can just book the book the tour with. Uh, you can either just come to Moshi, and you can even negotiate with the people. Though, if you negotiate, you can go to like 1,300 which is the lowest because uh, you have to pay the, the entrance fee. And if you get, if you go down, down, if you negotiate with the price, you cannot negotiate the entrance. You, you, you only negotiate the salary of the porters. You, you need, I think like seven porters and then they're gonna get like 10,000 shilling a, a day, which is really crazy, like 70,000 shilling for such hard work like to, uh to carry all your things up and all your food and everything okay i hope you like this video about moshi 
there's so much to do the Chemka uh, nice nice places to eat you can go to visit Maasai village you can go there's also waterfalls two waterfalls I will also post you uh, I will show you some pictures because this time I didn't make it to go there and it's also very cold uh, so the water there is from the Kilimanjaro it's like super cold so <laughs> okay a like subscribe and let me know in comments what would you like me to show you in Africa in Tanzania uh, I think we're gonna head to the coast to show you some of the seaside so stay tuned and thank you